The original Xbox was released in 2001 and was a very impressive console for the time. In terms of the specs, it wiped the floor with the competition. It may not have sold well compared to the PS2 and was actually sold at a loss for Microsoft, but it still shaped many people's childhoods and was a great console. But you know what wasn't great about the Xbox? Well, you know, aside from this. Its security was awful and the console eventually became easy to mod. This wasn't good news for Microsoft, but was a blessing for consumers. Modded dashboards and applications quickly released and turned the Xbox into arguably the best console of its time. Sure, it was expensive, but some of those tools were complete game changers. For the topic of today's video, we only need to worry about two of these tools. Firstly, the ability to burn disks to the Xbox's internal hard drive. And second, the ability to transfer files to the hard drive using the internet or a crossover cable. Having either of these options is great, but how does it apply to speedrunning? The short answer is that playing games on hard drive improves loading times. Laser disk readers simply can't load the game as fast as a mechanical hard drive. This applies to speedrunning because some games actually permit the use of hard drive. This might seem odd at first since the vast majority of console speed games ban it due to it being arbitrary and you'd be forced to spend time and money to mod the console. However, it makes a lot of sense when you look into it more. Some of these communities have speedrunners who contributed to the decision of allowing hard drive, and their opinion is formed using the hundreds or possibly thousands of hours they've put into the game. The reasons for allowing this could vary heavily from game to game, so we will look at a couple Xbox games that allow hard drive. Of course, some speed games may allow hard drive on non-Xbox versions too, but that side of it isn't the focus of today's video. So with that, let's get right into it. The first game I want us to look at is Futurama. Futurama tracks real-time and in-game time, but prioritizes in-game time. For example, if two runners had a 45.07 in-game time, only then would it prioritize real-time in order to prevent a tie. There are two reasons why hard drive is allowed for this game. Number one, since in-game time is the priority, it wouldn't matter what version you're playing on, so it also wouldn't matter that you're playing on hard drive. And number two... What the fuck? NTSC is faster than PAL for this game, but unfortunately, the NTSC version is several times more expensive. That's on top of buying an Xbox with the cables and a controller plus the capture card. This would discourage most people from running the game, so allowing the use of hard drive is almost a necessity. Being able to actually play the game isn't the only benefit, though. PAL players can transfer the NTSC version of Futurama to the hard drive using the aforementioned methods of a crossover cable or the internet. FileZilla is the best software for the job. You can connect your PC to the Xbox and transfer your Futurama files that you downloaded off Vimslet. Wait, fuck, no, I meant a random website. Yeah, that's what I meant. The game will display in 60Hz and plays identically to how it would on an NTSC Xbox. This makes competition fair since PAL runners won't be at an immediate disadvantage. You can insert your PAL disc and force it to boot up into NTSC mode, although that doesn't work for every game. It's still technically unfair for them since they would need to mod their Xbox, but who actually owns this game to begin with? However, the next game we're going to look at doesn't use in-game time, nor is it expensive. The game that I'm talking about is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Battle for Bikini Bottom, or BFBB for short, is the most popular SpongeBob speed game. Over the years, runners have gained a greater understanding of the game and the Xbox's hardware. The fastest version of this game is once again NTSC Xbox. The community officially allowed hard drive in early 2021. Why is this? Well, there are a few reasons. The biggest reason being lag clips. In late 2018, lag clips were discovered. They'd allow you to clip through the ground and obtain some spatulas very quickly. Skill was necessary for the trick, but the clips could be inconsistent. Some people couldn't seem to get them at all, and you had to mash very quickly. Some runners were discouraged from running certain categories because of this, but the issue gets worse. Throughout the Xbox's life, it had four different disk drives made by different companies. Thompson, Philips, Samsung, and Hitachi. This could change the difficulty of some of the clips, and it was clear that this was beginning to get problematic. The final nail in the coffin was Samsung B drives. The B drives were actually released before the A drives. Despite this, it turns out the Samsung B drives have the fastest loads of all the disk drives, and were predicted to save around half a minute overall. Originally, you'd go out of your way to find the newest Xbox models since they were believed to have the fastest loads, so 04 or 05 models were ideal. But Samsung B drives were only released 
least in some O2 and O3 models. Outside of it being difficult to find this disk drive online, it was also just very unreliable. It randomly made some load slow for seemingly no reason. It wears your disk out much faster than the other drives, it was more likely to crash, and the lag clips were really inconsistent. Sometimes the game would even get stuck on pause screens or text boxes. B drives were eventually banned, but this didn't last long. The community began looking at hard drive as a potential option, since that version couldn't produce lag in the same way and the loads would be more consistent. It also had other benefits, such as once again being good for PAL players, the loads are much faster, and the game ran a little smoother on hard drive, which was a nice bonus. The loads being faster is a bigger deal than you might think. It feels amazing to run this game when the loads are so fast. It also reduces the amount of downtime in the run, so it's more exciting to play and watch for runners and viewers alike. Finally, a very useful practice tool was created so that speedrunners could practice as efficiently as possible. You wouldn't really go through the hassle of playing this on a burnt disc, you'd only play it on hard drive. So the practice tool was another incentive to mod your Xbox, which made the time and money spent even more worthwhile. A few runners were worried that allowing hard drive would make it easy to cheat. Modifying files in this game isn't difficult, and someone could possibly change tiny aspects to give themselves an advantage. This can already be done if playing on a burnt disc, but that's more complicated. However, no such cheating has occurred thus far, and we have some extremely knowledgeable members of the community who would be able to detect any cheating. So with that explained, it's time to move on to the final game I want to discuss. This game doesn't actually permit hard drive, but that's exactly why I'm talking about it. This game has a very similar engine to BFBB, its fastest version is also NTSC Xbox, it has lag clips, B drives are fast, there's a practice mod, and the game would run smoother. The game I'm talking about is, of course, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. This game is different in many little ways, and a lot of them happen to justify banning hard drive. First and foremost, lag clips are completely different. They are very consistent, even on B drives. Lag allows for some really cool tricks and reroutes that many believe improve the game overall. Second, PAL isn't that slow, since all it does is slow the paddy wagon down a little. Third, a practice mod isn't as efficient for this game as it is for BFBB. Fourth, next to no runs on the boards are performed on B drive since people don't even want to try, meaning it isn't even currently problematic. Fifth, the game's loads seem to be a little more consistent from runner to runner. And finally, from the testing we've done, the hard drive seems to crash the game more often than using a disc. That that being said, there are some points for why hard drive could one day be a viable option. Arguably the biggest reason for allowing hard drive would be due to B drives. While I said that nobody wants to try using them anymore, that could easily change one day. Just like BFBB, they ruin discs quickly, some loads are randomly slow, and the game likes to crash. One time, a runner got a 2 minute Planktopolis load from the B drive when the load is meant to last 5 to 6 seconds. Allowing hard drive would prevent B drives from ever becoming a problem. Another reason is that some cutscenes don't load consistently on disc. Basically, most of the animated in-game cutscenes can load almost instantly, or it could even take upwards of an additional second. This mostly affects the sliding and driving levels, and you could potentially lose a few seconds overall for no good reason. On hard drive, these cutscenes load quickly every single time. Speaking of not losing time for no good reason, Power Runners would be able to fairly compete with NTSC players. Again, you can enable this on disc, but it doesn't work every time. So hard drive would be more fair for PAL players, even if the time save wouldn't really matter until top level. The final reason I can think of would also benefit the previous games mentioned, but I wanted to say it here. Eventually, Xboxes will stop functioning and discs will eventually stop working as well. It's already beginning to happen. Usually the disc reader stops working first from overuse, but playing on hard drive would extend the Xbox's lifespan. Normally in this circumstance, an Xbox would be unusable for runs, but not if hard drive were allowed. This keeps your Xbox in good condition, and the loads remain consistent long term, which is great when what you're using to speedrun is so old and could possibly break any day. While these are enticing arguments, it's just too hard to justify at the moment. 360 can actually compete with the original Xbox version quite well, but this wouldn't be the case if hard driver allowed. Besides that, the community just doesn't like the idea of pushing players to mod their console, which is understandable. Plus, the higher chance of crashing isn't great. Maybe in future, the community will change their mind. But for now, we'll have to pretend that B-drives don't exist, as God intended. 
The purpose of this video was to explain and justify why some speed games do or don't allow hard drive. I know a lot of communities don't like it because you have to modify your Xbox, but I really do feel like it could become a more viable option as time goes on. Maybe this video will bring up discussions in other communities. It was also to explain why the SpongeBob SquarePants movie community doesn't allow hard drive for runs when BFB does, since people ask that question frequently. Hopefully you learned a lot today, and I hope this video was interesting. Thank you very much for watching. Also follow me on Twitch.